Welcome back. The next series of lectures describes some very exciting developments in programmable hardware. In this brief introduction, I'll talk about the motivation for programmable hardware, and then I'll give a brief overview of the programmable hardware stack that we'll go into detail on in the next three lectures. The main problem that programmable hardware developments are seeking to address is that protocol evolution is far too slow. While OpenFlow allows rapid evolution of the control plane, the data plane evolves much more slowly, likely at the speed of hardware development cycles. The ambition of the recent movement in programmable hardware is to allow a developer to define a packet processing pipeline in a top-down, vendor-agnostic way. The definition of the packet processing pipeline should also be independent of the target. In other words, it should make sense regardless of whether the target is an ASIC, a network processor, an FPGA, or even a software switch. One important development in programmable hardware was the definition of a protocol independent layer that allows a switch's packet processing pipeline to be defined in terms of a protocol independent format that then is used to configure the data path. This effectively decouples switch operation into two stages. Up to this point in the course, we've really been talking about what's shown as stage two here, or the runtime, whereby you write a control plane program that configures the data path using a protocol like OpenFlow. Support for programmable hardware allows a developer to also configure the data path using high-level programming language like P4 or POF. We can then use a compiler to instantiate that program on various hardware targets, and that compilation process might occur by means of an intermediate representation. The next three lectures will overview the three components of this ecosystem. We'll talk about a specific custom target hardware that is designed to support various custom packet processing pipelines. We'll talk about a language for configuring a data path called P4. And then we'll talk about an intermediate representation that facilitates the compilation from a high level language like P4 to a lower level hardware target like the RMT chip. 